And good Thursday morning. I'm Corey Duke. I'm Justin Fisher. Let's take a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. Governor Kevin did sign the Stephen Bernius Memorial Act into law on Wednesday. It expands who can get a protective order. In a release, Representative Ross Ford says he wrote the act after one of his constituents, Stephen Bernius, was shot and killed after being denied a protective order. He says this bill is vital. In the day ahead, a special House investigative committee is set to begin investigating the circumstances surrounding the deal between Swadley's Barbecue and the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department. The committee was set up by House Speaker Charles McCall and is focused on the potential misuse of taxpayer funds through vendor agreements. This move comes following a March report by the Legislative Office of Fiscal Transparency outlining questionable spending at OTRD. Electric car maker Canoe reporting millions of dollars in losses in its first quarter of 2022. This is Oklahoma awaits the building of a new factory in Pryor. The state agreed to a contract with Canoe in February. However, the company reported more than $125 million in net loss in its first quarter earnings. That same report says that it has more than 17,000 pre-orders worth about $750 million. The CEO says the company has access to enough money to support the start of production. Well, we had 90 degree temperatures yesterday, so how hot will it get today? Let's send it over to meteorologist Michael Sager. Right about 91 this afternoon is what we're expecting in Tulsa. Some of us may hold into the upper 80s, but another hot and breezy day for the time of year. Drillers are in town. Should be a great night for baseball. Warm and muggy with a light south breeze. First pitch at about 7.05, so looking good there. Storm chances increase tomorrow. Perhaps even a few stronger storms late tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening with a wind and hail threat, especially from Tulsa to the north and to the east. And then maybe even again overnight Saturday night into Sunday morning. We've got another chance for some showers and storms to roll on through. Temperatures should come down over the weekend back in the mid 80s, but the overall trend is to keep numbers well above average for this time of year. Could be right back up to near 90 again by the time we head into the middle of next week.